Hey, it's Steph from stephendel.com. I know you guys are gonna love this workout because it's gonna lift, tone, and tighten your booty. And that's a spot that, especially in summertime and in bikinis, you want to be nice and tight and toned. So I've got some of my favorite workouts all set and ready just for you. I want you to always have something that you keep in mind that gets you a phrase that pushes you through when it's a really tough time. So your postable quote of the week and the thing I want you to remember through this whole workout, especially when times get tough, is don't wait for the conditions to be perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. So let's get down to business. You ready for this workout? Let's go. You can do this booty boosting workout right from your living room. All you need is hand weights and a mat. I'm using seven pounds. You can use fives, threes, whatever's comfortable, but you wanna work up to a higher weight when you can. So this first exercise is a deadlift. These are amazing for your butt and you are gonna feel them tomorrow. Time to check your form. Now your arms are straight as you're coming down. You want a slight bend in your knee. And as you lift up, you wanna make sure that you're pushing your hips forward and squeezing your glutes at the top. That's one of the most important tips I could give you right now. And also remember to keep your back flat. I know you've got two more in you. Let's do this. Two, make this a good one. One. All right, nice job. For this next move, you're just gonna need your one hand weight. You're gonna be lunging over to your right side. You wanna keep that left leg straight as you go down and the right knee, you wanna make sure it does not go over top of your toe. And as you reach down, I want you to come all the way down to your foot. And this move is also gonna engage your abs because you're twisting. And you're really pushing off that right foot as you come back up. So at this point, you've already done a few of them. You're starting to feel it. So let's show some real intensity and endurance right now. You can do this. And now if this weight is too heavy for you, go ahead and start off with no weight at all, but work yourself up to using weight. You've got this. Let's do five more. Ready? Five. Good job. Dig deep. Four, make sure your form is correct. Three, that flat back, reaching down. Two, and then give me one more, make this the best one. One, good job. And you know how we do this, so we gotta even it out on that other side. So let's lunge over to the left. Remember, proper form on this one. You wanna have a flat back. You want your right leg to be straight. Left knee is bent arm is coming all the way down to the foot and then pulling back up and you want to keep your head and chest forward as you do this. Now's the time to really start thinking about the results that you want. Do you want to change your body? If you do, now is the time to push through. Now is the time to dig deep and find that extra mm that you've got in there. Now we got four more. You can do this. Four. Come on. Find that. Find that extra energy. Three. Here we go. We got it. Two, I'm right here with you. Last one, make it great. Okay, last one. Here we go. Good job, nice. All right, take it down to your knees and we are going to be kicking back with our left leg. My favorite way to look at these is that you're pretending to put a footprint onto the ceiling. So you're lifting that back leg straight up. You've got that bend in the knee. And I always encourage you to, to check back on this one and make sure that you have proper form because this is a really easy one to not do right, especially if you're not looking at it. What I want you to know is that the higher that you're able to lift your leg up at the top, the more you are gonna feel it and the more it's gonna really engage and sculpt those muscles we're targeting. 
Okay, four more of these, and then at the end, we're gonna top this off with a straight leg crossover. So now let's extend that leg straight out. What you're gonna do, tap to the side, tap to the top, tap to the other side, tap to the top, tap to the side, tap to the other side, tap to the top. You get the point. This is going to burn, especially by the third set, but you've got this. You wanna check your four, make sure you are bringing that foot high enough up to the top and low enough down to the bottom. All right, ready for the challenge? Let's do four more of these. So side, up, side, up, side. Dig deep, you've got this, only one more. Whew, you started this workout, now let's finish it strong and make it count. All right, let's flip it over to the other side and even it out. Okay, you ready? Let's do that right leg. And remember, you got your knee bent here and you're kicking up towards the ceiling, almost like a donkey kick. Um, you're kicking up towards the sky. Now, these are kind of old school mat moves, but boy, do they work. So that's why we are doing them right now, working the booty and kicking up towards the ceiling just like that. Good job. At this point, when it's starting to hurt is when I'm thinking about the reasons why I'm doing this. Remember back to that. You know what's coming. You know that there's that straight leg part at the end and it is going to burn, so prep yourself. You ready? Now lift up and we're gonna extend it out. Okay, are you paying attention to your form? Is your leg straight? You're tapping out to the side, up to the top, and out to the other side. When you're coming up, you wanna really lift that leg up and you wanna get the full extension on each side. Now's a good time to check and make sure that your abs are engaged. Are your abs nice and tight right now? Okay, let's do four more. Ready? This will be one. You've got it. Two. Nice work. Keep going. Three. Find that inner strength. You've got it. One more, one more. And four. Nice work. Okay, you ready for your last move? This one's called a bridge. Now, if you don't do any other exercise, do this one because it is so effective. It might not even feel like it's working, but it is. You will feel it tomorrow. All right, so let's talk form. Your feet are flat on the ground, hands are by your side, and you're lifting your hips up high, really squeezing at the top. Now, you know me, I like to challenge you because I like to get you really good results. So I've got a little extra special challenge at the end of this move right here. So if you can just give me six more, let's do this. Ready? We got one. Good job. Two. Check your form. Three. Make sure you're really thrusting those hips forward. Four. Five. And give me one more and hold it up at the top. Now you're going to extend your right leg forward. And we're gonna do a one leg bridge, 10 on each side. I know that sounds like a crazy number, especially if in your third round, you're burning, but don't doubt yourself and push through to the end. You've only got four more now, ready? Four, good. Three, check your form, you got this. Two, make this the best one, let's do it. And one, nice. Of course, we gotta even it out, other side. Extend that left leg out and just 10 more on this side. This is the time when you really need to dig and drive into this. You got it. You can trust yourself and push through. Remember, where the mind goes, the body will follow. So your body might be saying, I'm done, I'm done right now, but your mind needs to tell it a few more. Just two more to finish this one out. You got it. One and two. Great job, guys. You put in some serious effort into this workout and you should be feeling it. You should be really, really proud of yourselves. So what I want you to do now is check in on the Steph Handel Facebook page or Instagram. I wanna know that you did the workout and I wanna know that you really pushed yourself. Now the summer challenge is still going on, so if you haven't registered yet, make sure you go over to stephhandel.com and register for the summer challenge. We've got uh, giveaways, workouts, schedules, all kinds of great stuff, recipes. You're gonna love it. So make sure you're signed up and I will see you in the next video.